Shall we pray? Sovereign God, we come before you this morning as family. We thanks that you are our Father and you hear our prayers. We thank you that we are able to gather in freedom to bring our worship to you. We pray for Christians across the world who are unable to be together because of restrictions on sharing the good news of Jesus. Father, we bring before you the leaders of the world, many who met at the G7 last weekend. We pray that discussions and promises made will be fulfilled and honoured, especially the issues regarding the EU and Ireland. We ask for a resolution in that situation. We also pray for President Biden and Putin that will be a clear understanding between them, Lord. Let there be peace. This morning, we think of those countries around the world where the pandemic is raging through their countries, especially Nepal, Brazil, and Uganda. We pray for our missionaries, Claire and John Malongi in Uganda, John's brother, Martin, who lives with them, has COVID and is isolating himself from Claire and John and the boys as they live together. Claire and John and the boys are isolating themselves from the community. Father, we pray for Martin that he would feel your healing touch. I pray for protection over them. Lord, hedge them around with your love and protection. Keep them safe, Father, to continue your work. We pray for our government as they lead us out of this pandemic. Father, give all who make important decisions your wisdom, your guidance and discernment. Father, as we are gathered here together this morning as family, we are so thankful for your leading and guidance over the last three years. Father, we are so thankful that you have brought Nick to us. And today we welcome Sally into our family. Thank you, Father. We pray for the eldership team as they work with Nick under your guidance and leadership towards our future ministry. We look forward to what our Father has in store for us. And Father, I thank you for the children's groups which are meeting downstairs. We thank you for Simon and Beth and their teams as they lead the children. We pray they would know Jesus through their teaching. And I think about all those folks unable to attend church because of ill health or infirmity. Be with them, Lord, we pray. We pray for healing and for your peace. As we bring our prayers to a close, I pray. O oh God, our Lord, steer the ship of our life to yourself, the quiet harbour of all storm-stressed souls. Show us the course which we are to take. Renew in us the spirit of docility. Let your spirit curb our fickleness. Guide and strengthen us to perform what is for our own good, to keep your commandments and ever rejoice in your glorious presence. Yours is the glory and praise for all eternity. Amen. <laughs>